Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be learning about encryption methods that we have for Azure Database, Cosmos DB, and Data Lake encryption so that we can uh, secure our data uh, with encrypting data at rest and in motion. So we are going to uh, start off by taking about encrypting data at rest and then we will be uh, moving to the data motion. Let's define what exactly data at rest. Data at rest would be obviously anything that is not moving, right? So in motion would be any piece of data uh, that's moving between services or uh, within Azure or outside of Azure uh, to a client or between different computers. So when we talk about encrypting data at rest, we are gonna uh, taking about transparent data encryption method. So this transparent data encryption is an industry methodology that encrypts data files, uh, that's a database files at a file level, and it does this by encrypting the underlying files of the database and not the data itself. By doing this, uh, you prevent the data from being copied to another server so that it would be worked on basically uh, in order to open files, you have to have the original encryption certificates as well as a master key. So the actual encryption of the database has done at the page level and when we talk about uh, page, page here, uh, we are not talking about the web pages we are talking about storing uh, in a server a page for instance and sql server is uh, for example it could be some size or uh, in kilobytes and when we use td uh, td stands for the transparent data encryption again here uh, that's that's what we are trying to discuss here so we are applying it at the low level of database so the other thing i wanted to bring up here when when we talk about transparent data encryption is this concept of transparent and that reason that uh, transpar transparent is because encryption and decryption is seamlessly to be authorized users of the database and they have no idea that the data is encrypted the only way you would know is if you don't have access to it and uh, when we talk about transparent data encryption uh, we are talking about encryption of entire database so uh, when we write something in our database it's encrypted and then it's decrypted uh, when it's being read back to you so uh, now that i have explained at the high level what a transparent data data encryption method and I would like to go through uh, and now talk about uh, these apply uh, these concepts now to your SQL server before we jump into the SQL server this can be actually applied this transparent data encryption for your SQL server and SQL databases and data warehouse and uh, there are two different um, uh, protocol uh, methods what we use actually one is the AES triple data encryption standard other one would be the database encryption key so we're gonna uh, look on this so let's jump into a demo so that we can understand about the encrypting data at rest with transparent data encryption method and then we go to the motion uh, specific I have navigated to the SQL database and go back to uh, database and within this database you have the options for the encryption so let's go back to so now we have a blade uh, called here transparent data encryption if you see here I have enabled the data encryption by doing this so you have the trans transparent data encryption which encrypts your database backups and logs at rest without any changes to your application um, so that's what it's trying to do here within the SQL sub. So what we are trying to do is uh, We are trying to work on our database service So you can also uh, do it at the server level by going to the uh, blade under security transparent data encryption and when you go here you have the two options so one is service managed key other no other one is a customer managed key so if you choose the service managed key it actually automatically creates and you don't have to do anything uh, because it actually works um, automated fashion but if you choose the customer managed key um, 
you need to give her give here your key vault and a key value so that's where it's going to use the uh, services so let me actually choose my key vault here i can give here my key vault name so i have chosen my key vault and now i can choose a specific um, secret key that i can create basically once i've choose here i have to change and create a specific key let's say in the previous demo i have created a cmk r21 key or if you want to you can create a new key directly from here uh, and then you can refer that so that it's actually going to work based on the customer managed key so this is more secure than service managed key because you are going to rotate the keys uh, completely and you will have the full control let's have a look on our data lake or synapse um, pool so i just had created a database browsing pool so i'll just go here and if you see here uh, within this directly if i just go to transparent data encryption by default this has been off and you can enable directly from here so if i just enable this this gets the encryption gets automatically saved and uh, TDE settings will be automatically enabled so this is how you can secure your data lake pools also now let's go back to uh, check our Cosmo DB and see how best we can encrypt if we just go back to Cosmo database and if you see here I don't have DD specific any settings for the transparent and now uh, the reason being if you just go to another slide which i have prepared uh, for the data encryption uh, this uh, data encryption specific to the cosmo db is since the cosmo db is a pass service cosmo db is very easy to use and because all user data stored in the cosmo db is by default it is encrypted at rest in the transport and you don't have to take any action um, another way to uh, put this that the encryption at the rest is on by default so you don't need to configure anything there is no controls to turn it on or off um, for your Azure Cosmo database because um, uh, this is by default enabled uh, because it's a past model and it uses uh, AES 256 encryption on all regions uh, where, where the account is running and if you see here it automatically uses the TLS 1.2 or HTTPS um, sends the data up and down and then it manages everything uh, by default without uh, your interaction hope this is useful for you and let me go back to the other slide so we discussed about the sql server and sql database and database allows and uh, now uh, also we talked about the cosmo db there's another point that we need to remember that we can also encrypt at the sql uh, tables column specific also which i have already demonstrated in another lecture you can check out that let's also take uh, the encryption method that we have for the data lake uh, by default for the data lake is you don't have any option to enable let's jump into the portal and demonstrate this if it just go to my resources and choose the data lake and you see here you don't have any specific option to uh, do any kind of encryption however if you try to create you would actually get that option to choose the method of encryption I just choose here data lake one gen and when I try to create the new one I would be getting here as the basic or whatever the resources once I entered I should be able to choose here the encryption method where either I can use either I can choose here as not to enable encryption or you can have an option of where it's fully managed by Microsoft Azure service or you can have your own key vault so you need to choose here the similar method that we have demonstrated you need to choose your a specific key vault for example here my key vault and then you need to create your keys or use your if you have already created a key you can use that and that way it actually stores the encryption um, specific master keys all that information uh, within your as a key vault which is a secure method so that's all about um, data lake specific when we look at encrypting data in motion 
the protocols that are used TLS and SSL the industry standard protocols most secure protocols that will be used and these protocols are transport layer security specific like if you're trying to uh, if the data since its data is moving from your cloud to customer um, these TLS and SSL would be used and it will uh, store the authentication messaging privacy integrity and PFS that's a perfect forward um, secrecy which will protect data between your customers clients systems to the cloud all that would be involved within the encrypting data in motion. So this TLS or uh, SSL will provide uh, storing authentication a way to uh, ensure the integrity and the privacy of your data in motion. So when we talk about encrypting data in motion, let's first uh, take uh, talk about SQL database and uh, database routes. So all these connections to the SQL database uh, or the database routes, all that are required uh, encrypting your uh, TLS are SSL based all the time while the data in the transit to um, to and from the database so when we talk about encrypting data in motion the key thing to remember from SQL database um, is the data warehouse SQL server and data lake uh, store or Cosmo DB uh, all of them utilized by default data in a transit encryption so you are going to use https as the product as the only protocol to be able to access all of these services uh, from outside of azure so uh, you can see from the uh, discussion enabling the azure for uh, Azure specific security database services is really easy in most of the cases and doesn't even need to be enabled because it's on by default like we talked about Cosmo TV and other things by default it's enabled and it is important to give you a high level overview because I wanted to make sure you understand what is encrypted and what is not encrypted uh, so that uh, you can go for your exam within the security specific either AZ 300 um, specific or 500 specific exam that would definitely touch up some of the SQL specific security and you should know that you know what is actually getting encrypted. I hope this is useful for you and I'll catch you in the next lecture.